Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 13, Chapter 4 Complete Victory, Part 5. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the anime and manga series. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. After walking down the steps leading to the 80th floor of the maze, there is a hut where you can rest. A luxurious door could be seen from the depths of this room. Behind the door is this level's floor guardian room. After walking through the dark vortex, it was this room that Minute arrived in. Several people have been first to this place. Minute's eyes widened slightly, trying to recall if these men had met themselves. The men who had seized such a minute and were sitting in the chairs talking stood up. Major General Minute, are you alright? I'm a member of the 26th Mechatronics Regiment, greetings. This maze wasn't that easy to mingle with allowing the district soldiers and subordinate generals to survive. I know that very well. Yes, it is indeed as you said. I am the 17th ranked man in the order of the Imperial Emperor's near guard, the name is Krishna. I'm the 35th, Bazin. I'm the 94th ranked, Reha. Um, you're really all knights of the Emperor's guard, aren't you? The reason for infiltrating our army is to monitor this battle. Exactly. Even if you answer honestly like that, it's still a bit of a problem, but not this time. Let's leave that alone for now and talk about what to do next. We just happened to be discussing whether we should do the same. As if taken for granted by his own expectations, Minute continued to let the conversation go on. So, what happened to everyone else? Back to your word. The floor we were teleported from is mentioned in the report, there is a necromancer over there. We have only 96 men short of a commander to face off against the evil king of necromancers. After the battle everyone else was. It's incredible. We have gathered together a thousand warriors who can act on their own judgment even when no one gives orders. It's not as good as you guys, but they're all elite members of our army. The purpose of this battle plan was to rescue the Imperial soldiers. It was unbelievable that all those soldiers had been killed, so Minute intensified his tone of questioning. That guy is a terrible monster. And the necromancer who guards that king is also a top swordsman. Except for the three of us, everyone else was killed on that floor. If there is criticism that we should have shown up earlier, there is nothing to be said for that. Just facing the necromantic dragon and the necromantic sword saint, plus the immortal king, it would be a miracle that even we survived. Krishna talked to Minute halfway through, and Bazin interjected. He spoke with a tone of anger, on the one hand, and as if chagrined at their misuse. Anyone could tell he meant what he said. It's rude to speak to the major general, Bazin. But Reha San, no, it's okay. This maze is dangerous. We should not talk about identity here, but rather work together to kill a way out of this. With your words, it's like a shot in the arm for us. By the way, what did Lord Minute go through before he got here? I took on a whole swarm of legionnaires. Legion B. You were alone in the face of such a dangerous monster? Since entering this labyrinth, you have met no one else but yourselves. In my case, I was summoned by a voice after beating down the Legion Bs and the Wraith Queen who was suspected of ruling them. I've come to this place in a flash. I see, I see. And how are you? That's a long time coming. I've got the medicine ready to go. A little rest and some strength will be restored. Forget about that for now. Which route did you take to get to this room? After that, the three men also shared the intelligence at hand under Minute's domination, each of them. One thing they found out later was that the maze was twisted in its construction. But what the hell is going on here? The opponent we're dealing with is also mentioned in the report, it's the 60th level of the Barrier Demon Lord, right? Why doesn't Rimuru let us start from the first floor and follow the sequence? It's simple. You've heard the rumors about the maze, right? Even if you go in for the challenge, just equip the bracelet and you'll be resurrected. What do you think would happen if this effect worked on all magical things? Rather than letting us spend time on the strategy, it would be better to let us in one by one, as that would drain the Imperial Army's strength. And as soon as you come in, you can't get out. That would be talking about breaking us up individually. Of course, that's because of the confidence in the fighting power inside the maze. I have actually mentioned this to Lord Calgurio as well. But he said we'd take control of the resurrection stronghold and just wait for the monster to come back to life and kill it each time. That makes sense, so I'll just have to back off. In the end, the Imperial Army sent over half a million general soldiers. Sending the fighters in in batches was the most stupid thing. The minions of the demon Lord Rimuru were responsible for guarding this maze, and the reason for this ending was because we misjudged the strength of the other side. Were any survivors found? 
they must assume that there are only a few of them currently surviving. It's not so much a reluctance to believe as it is a reluctance to believe. If anyone survives and comes back to the surface, it's imperative that everyone retreats as quickly as possible. I'm sure His Majesty will be angry, but there's nothing we can do about it. What's this place like? No poison was found in the drinks and fruit placed here. I do not intend to receive charity from the enemy, but this is clearly intended to entertain us. And that door, it won't open with either push or pull, but you can see the numbers on it, right? We were all talking before you came and wanted to say if that was counting down. Behind that doorway located in the depths, there seemed to be an indescribably thick aura of monster matter wafting out. And the door that Bazin pointed out did have some numbers written on it. That's obviously indicating time. The numbers say 200. It should mean that the door will be open in another three hours or so. It seems the enemy wants to fight us who are fully prepared. It's not exactly dangling, but at least the other side seems to be waiting for me to recover. And it doesn't look like we're waiting for a group of people to arrive for a separate challenge? That means the opponent is confident in his own strength, right? We and the Lord Minute have killed the King of the Dead, and he really underestimated us. But don't be polite to him at a time like this. In a little while Kansas should be coming over as well, and it would be in our interest to buy some more time. That's true. The more people who can fight, the better. If even Lord Kansas joins us, breaking through this maze isn't impossible, is it? Exactly. That said, the keys we have now, there are currently seven of them. Did Sir Minute get something like that, too? Reha said while pulling out a badge. There are ten crystals set on it, seven of which are glowing. This badge is the key that gives the right to challenge the king of this maze. Of course, in order to challenge the king of the labyrinth, the ten lords of the labyrinth must be defeated. The Imperials already had four keys before we came in. Yes, it's not just the necromancer. The necromancer we defeated seems to be one of the ten lords of the labyrinth as well. So it is. If Kansas wins and gets the keys, the minimum number of keys that can be added to a waiting opponent is nine. There was only a faint glimmer of hope, but there was always a bit of a clear path to follow. If they could get back on the ground right away, they'd probably swear never to come in again. This maze is just so treacherous. Yet that wish is unlikely to come true. If the enemy had not been defeated afterwards, they could not have made it back out alive. As early as the time they entered the labyrinth, they already had this realization. All they can do now is move forward. So much so, that Minute and his crew did nothing but wait for Kansas to arrive, while resting on one side. When only three minutes remained, Minute stood up. After confirming the badge he was disappointed to find that the glow had not increased. Maybe Kansas lost the battle. It's time. It's about time we got ready, too. Open. In a flash, a stream of light erupted and the three men were armed. Meanwhile the front door opens. Everyone is ready to wake up. They didn't hesitate to walk through the door and throw themselves into that matchup that bet on their chances of survival. It's a completely dark space where not even light can shine through. Reha hurried to light up with the elemental magic of light, wide range lighting. The sight that appeared there took the crowd's breath away. The place was a vast wilderness, with the bodies of imperial generals and soldiers piled as high as mountains. At the highest point there was a magical creature that was meditating. That's Zijin. Welcome to you, warriors. Zijin just said the word and a strong sense of oppression appeared throughout the space. This time Minute could be sure. This monstrous creature was the one who had drawn him to this place, the demon lord Rimuru. So without thinking, he asked, You are the demon lord Rimuru, right? He had already read the report that said the demon lord Rimuru was a slime. Since it's a slime, it's not surprising to be able to morph into various forms. The most important thing was that this creature released a rather overwhelming, Demon Lord Chi. This proves that the creature is the Demon Lord Rimuru, or so Minute thought. He didn't expect that statement to piss off Zijin. How dare you mistake me, for the great Lord Rimuru. What? My name is Zijin, just one of the ten lords of the labyrinth. You foolish men who crawl on the ground, it is not a pity to die so foolishly. There is only one way for you to live, and that is to defeat me. Burn your lives and struggle as hard as you can. It made it clear to the minute that knowing Zijin was stating what he knew to be the truth. Trying to get him to retract those words, as Zijin said, can only show strength. Guys, we're going all out. Yes sir. And just like that, a truly ravaging showdown ensued. 